What up, gang? Matt here. Acoustic Selection. I'll teach you a song. It uses three chords, a G chord, so a G note, every other white key. What I've done to make it for reference, mark my C notes. If you want to do that, find the two black keys, one to the left is a C, then B, A, or C, D, E, F. But this right here is a G note. Every other white key is a G chord. You want to learn that, it's your G chord. For a C chord, same pattern, a C note, every other white key. There's your C chord. And a D's gonna, a D's gonna be a little bit different. A D, every other white key, except you take your first finger and play an F sharp. So a D, F sharp, and an A. Right there. So again, G and C are every other white key. A D, it's every other white key, but put your first finger up. Now, some people like to use their thumb, middle finger, and pinky finger. You can do that. I use my first finger that way. So, and as far as a pattern of this song, you're going to do what I call a rock. On your right hand, you're going to play both hands, G with on both chords. Left hand, right hand with the G chord. But you're going to rock back and forth, the middle, middle note, and two outside. On a heel. Stood at sea, oh, rugged cross. Then to the D, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross. See where the dearest and best in a world of lost sinners were. And I'll go to D chord, cherish the old rugged rock. So I went for, on the chorus, and I'll have a, a PDF of this over on the website, AcousticSelection.com. And I'll cherish the old rugged rock. Till my seat trophies at last I lay. Other things you'll see I'm doing is what's called using a neighboring chord. If I'm staying on the G, sometimes I'll take my thumb, play that A, then back. So G, A, back. C, D, then back. So while I'm going back and forth, then D, E, D, like that. So again, it's a little more advanced if you're just starting out. Don't worry about that. But. That's a good exercise just to start out with, just a G. Might even do just your right hand if you're starting out and not even worry about the bass hand to get those three chords down G, C, and D because you can play so many songs with just these three chords. So I'll cherish the old rugged rock till my trophies last I lay Mike. No crime, bub. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange someday for a crown. So, like I said, if you're just starting out, or just that right hand.
It's all about listening for that timing. Be able to really listen. Again, go to AcousticSelection.com and click on the playlist. Scroll down, you'll see four gospel hymns. It's going to look like it's right here. Um, on the playlist tab, you scroll down, and you'll see it says uh, four gospel hymns. Click on that, and you'll see a PDF. So that's Because He Lives, Old Rugged Cross, I'll Fly Away, and Victory in Jesus. I also have a play, um, a songbook. It's 10 bucks if you want to purchase online. It has uh, 50, 55 songs, I think. Uh, so that has all the easy chords for piano or guitar. Hold on, Brody, man. I think my little kid's ready to play. But uh, anyway, go check out the website there. Easy to play piano. A lot of these songs just use three chords. So you can learn those three chords. G, C, and D. All right. Been playing, Brody. Good job, buddy. Channelcoosieselection.com. God bless you.